HIV testing. What will you have? Ah, uh, ugali and samaki. Sawa. I will have ugali, mboga kienyeji. All right. Back to your question. I was asking mm-hmm. the best time to get tested for HIV. Okay. Well, you can get tested for HIV at any time. If you put yourself at risk, speak to your healthcare professional immediately. Risky situations involve having sexual intercourse without using protection or sharing of needles and syringes, right? That's right. Even if you think that you have not put yourself at risk, testing regularly for HIV is part of a normal, healthy sexual life. So, that answers my next question. Why get tested? Mm-hmm. It does answer your question, but not fully. Now, the main reason you should get tested is because it's the only sure way to know if you have the virus or not. Plus, HIV testing is also quick, simple, and almost free of charge service. I guess knowing my HIV status can also reduce my worries in case I did something that put me at risk. Yes, that is very correct. It is better to know your status so that you can move on with your life. In addition, knowing you are HIV positive can help you start proper treatment that can lead to a long and healthy life. I get it. The treatment will reduce the amount of HIV in my bloodstream. Exactly, Liz. It also means you can access antiretroviral treatment or ARVs easily at your nearest healthcare facility. And finally, regular testing means you can look after the sexual health of yourself and your partner. If you are HIV positive, you can prevent transmitting the virus to your partner. By using condoms. Yes, and being on treatment. Great. So what is involved in HIV testing? All right. Before you get tested, your healthcare professional will talk to you about your sexual health and why you have decided to get tested and any risks you may have taken. That is the part that is called cancelling, right? You can call it that. I agree. There are a variety of different kinds of HIV tests. Mm-hmm. Now, there is rapid test, which takes within um, 20 minutes for the results. Is this the one where you just go in, hand over your finger, the doctor pricks it with the needle to draw your blood, then you sit and wait for the result? That's the one. No need to take blood samples to the laboratory, and the results are satisfactory for uncomplicated infections. So, for complicated infections, you get other different kinds of tests, I guess. Yes. We have third generation test, which takes between one and uh, seven days to get results, I believe. That means blood samples have to be taken to the lab. Exactly. And the advantage is that the results here are highly reliable. You mean like they are more accurate? You can say that again. Now, moving on, the fourth generation test takes much longer for the result to be out compared to the previous two. Uh, Can you approximate, doctor? Well, uh, it takes between a few days and weeks for the results to be out. I guess the results here are much, much more reliable. Highly reliable and is usually done for complicated infections. Nice. So, apart from VCT centers, Mm. where else can one get free HIV tests? Easy, easy, easy. You can walk into a qualified doctor's office, Mm -hmm. family planning clinic, a hospital or a rehabilitation center and get tested. It should be free or almost free, depending on whether you are getting the service from a private or a government facility. Any other places? You can also get HIV tests at mobile and outreach testing in the community, in school, workplace, or even at home. 
I see. Hmm. Now, remember, HIV testing should involve your full consent. It should be confidential and give you the opportunity to speak with someone at length about what is involved. Testing should also give you a positive or a negative result. That is to say, your result may not be what you expected. Of course. That is why the health professional needs to prepare you for the outcome. And depending on the result, you should be given information on further treatment and prevention services. Oh, that answers my next question. Which was? What happens after HIV test and getting the results? <laughs> that partly answers your question. You mean there is still more? Mm -hmm. Now, if your test results come back as negative, uh -huh. then it means you don't have HIV. Now, on the other hand, a reactive test result can possibly mean a positive test result. But further confirmation needs to be done in the lab to confirm it is a positive result. That is the moment the world ends for you. <laughs> okay, I see. Now, receiving a positive result test can be shocking news for most people. Yeah. It could even lead to emotional breakdown. Your doctor will talk to you about what it means and what will happen next. Will it matter anyway? It won't change the fact that I am HIV positive. I agree, Liz, but it helps a lot to talk about the result because it does not mean the end of the world for you. Besides, this is not the final result. Uh, how do you mean? Okay, look, the next step is to take another blood sample, send it to the laboratory for further tests. Now, if the results come back as positive, then you surely have HIV. Then you can now know what to do next. So don't ask me. I will ask you anyway. What's next? I knew it. Let me pay for the food. We get out of here. What about my question? We will talk about it on the way back to the dispensary. Okay.